Ticket to Hope, we're a Hamilton-based 501c3, and our goal is to create hope. Um, we create you know, unique experiences for, for individuals that are going through hardships or um, that just need community. And, and we, provide, um, we provide just that. So uh, we will donate tickets to sporting events, um, art galleries, concerts, just anywhere where, where people can just get together and just forget about you know, life for a little while. When I was younger, we were living paycheck to paycheck. You know, my dad's working literally seven days a week, 365 days a year, just, just keeping the lights on. Um, and the, the uh, events that were so significant to me and just so impactful were, um, you know, a couple times, maybe once or twice a year, he would come home and his work would donate their, you know, season tickets to some of the employees. And he'd have two tickets to a Reds game, or you know, uh, our whole family, like me and my sisters, maybe be able to attend. And just being able to remove yourself from that environment, and you know, watching, you know, in my case, uh, you know, a loved one on the couch and not being able to um, just enjoy life and you know, be healthy, and it's just you're constantly surrounded by that. Just being able to. Uh, completely remo be removed from that environment and go to such as a Reds game. You know, walking with fans to, to, the, to the front gate and giving somebody a ticket and finding your seat, all of those little things, it just further removes you from, you know, the environment that you're currently in. So it's impactful to me. So I started Ticket to Hope um, a year and a half ago and I, you know, the, the idea behind it was I won a lottery to uh, a U.S. women's national soccer event in Columbus, Ohio, and I won four tickets to the game. And uh, you know, and I knew that I wasn't going to be able to go to the game, so uh, I I reached out to the local Ronald McDonald House in Columbus, and when I told them what I had, from there uh, it just it just grew. Um, my initial thought was, well, I have friends that have season tickets and I have friends that uh, they have tickets that for whatever reason they can't go, work, school, kids. Um, so let's see if we can find a home for these tickets. And um, once I you know, started and with Ticket to Hope, it just, it just took off. What I wasn't prepared for was um, you know, some of these organizations that, that I've, I've worked with, you know, they'll have teenagers, they'll have kids in high school that wouldn't even dream to go to something like a Reds game, a Dayton Dragons game, you know, a concert at River Bend Music Center. It's just not even in their thoughts. And when they go to these events and, you know, they're just screaming at the top of their lungs and, you know, and they're allowed to, and, you know, the mom or the dad that, you know, maybe can, can take them to something like that and an experience that that family can share. What I'm able to provide or what I'm trying to create is just to me it's just so simple and it's such a simple idea but to the people that are attending these events I mean it's it's memories that last a lifetime I'm a huge advocate of, of community and inclusiveness and and just love and and hope right so um, yeah, that, that's part of what drives me. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a huge advocate for, for the community. I'm very blessed to, to receive this award. With hope, you know, anything can happen.